Do you have to answer all the questions to pass the FE exam? A student asks us this question. Hey guys, I'm Kenza and I've helped hundreds of students study less, learn more, and pass the FE exam faster. Now, if you have any questions about the FE and you want answers, go ahead and submit your question here and I will answer it on the next FAQ video. Oh yeah, everybody now. So, do you need to answer all the questions to pass the FE exam? Well, no, but it's not going to improve your chances. Instead of asking if you need to answer all the questions, have a strategy so that you can answer as many questions as you can. Now, here are five things that you can do during the exam that will increase your chances of passing the FE. One, do the easy problems first. Two, Attempt all of the medium and long questions. 3. Take an educated guess on the difficult problems. 4. Go back through and don't leave any answers blank. You don't lose points for submitting the wrong answer. And if you submit an answer, you have 25% chance of getting it right, which is better than 0%. And 5. Flag problems as you go through the exam. Now, I talked about how to flag problems more in this video. If you guys haven't watched it yet, make sure that you guys check it out. But all of this starts long before your exam. While studying, focus on learning the concepts and the foundation of engineering. If you can't find the reaction of a beam, you're not going to be able to draw the shear in the moment diagram or find the maximum moment. And don't focus on studying only the difficult problems. If you don't have the basics of engineering, you're not gonna be able to solve the difficult or the easy questions, which will decrease your chances of passing your FE. Now, remember, going into your exam, your goal is to get as many easy questions as you can. Try to get the medium and the long problems as well and do the best you can on solving the difficult problems. This strategy right here will increase your chances of passing your FE exam. Now, if you have forgotten engineering concepts, make sure to check out our courses where we simplify engineering concepts and we teach you exactly what you need to pass your FE exam. Our courses are lifetime access, provide step-by-step -step solutions, and relevant concepts and problems that will help you study less, learn more, and pass faster. But I would really suggest that you guys don't focus on how many questions you should get right, but instead focus on learning the material, practice as many problems as you can, and most importantly, make sure that you are studying the problems and the concepts that will be on your exam. There's a lot of misinformation out there about the FE, and I have seen so many students being stuck in the FE journey for years. No one should have to spend years studying for the FE. Get the right material. Make sure that you are always making progress and that you are always learning and not stuck because that's how you're going to pass your FE exam faster and excel in your career. Now, don't forget to check out our courses where 94% of our students pass the FE exam in three months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about the FE exam, don't forget to submit them here and I will answer it on the next FAQ video. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to come back here every week for free problems, study tips and motivation to help you pass your FE exam faster. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.